Hey makers, this is Dhruveen and in today's video we will be talking about how we can stack and rearrange multiple columns into a single row of Power Apps form. Now most of the time we have scenario in real life where we want to show let's say I have one form and I want to show three columns in the first row and two columns into second row and in third row I want to show one column. Then how we can make this kind of arrangement? In Power Apps form, in out of the box manner, number of column option is provided, but it is not sufficient enough in order to achieve this kind of requirement. So how we can achieve that? Let's see that thing throughout this video. But before that, here is an intro. Here I am on my machine and here I have created one of the power apps and now let me just add one power apps form over here. So I am selecting this form and providing the data source as leave application and as you can see that in out of the box form it is by default column as 3 is selected and form layout is set as vertical. Now my requirement is something which is different. This is the end outcome that I wanted to achieve here. In the first row, I need a single column. In the second row, I need two columns. In the third row, I need three columns. In the fourth row, I need two columns. Meaning, in each row, the number of column is different. So, how we can achieve this requirement? So, I have unblocked all the cards. Now, First of all, let me explain you one of the simple math concept. Here we have column set as 3 and now let's check out this structure. So if we select the title data card and go to the advanced option and check x and y property. So you can see that x is set as 0 and y is set as 0. In second column, you can see that x is equal to 1 meaning x is incremented by 1 and y is still 0. In third one, x is equal to 2 y is equal to 0 meaning on the x axis it is incremented by 1 and if we go to the y axis it will also incremented by 1 so let's see start date so here y is 1 and x is 0 right similar way here x is 1 and y is 1 so this is the default structure now let me explain you something in this particular paint just try to understand what type of structure we want to implement in our form. So basically this is considered as your x axis and this is considered as your y axis. Once you move to this particular direction, x is incremented by 1, x is equal to 0, 1, 2, however column you wanted to add, it is incremented by 1 over here into x direction. Similar way in the y direction, if you go from top to bottom, it will increment it by 1. So here y is equal to 0, y is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So each row, row number is considered as a y axis and it is incremented by 1 like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And similar way, like the column structure that you wanted to have in your form, it is defined by x axis and it is also incremented by 1. So let's say in your form, if you need one column in first row, then it's x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 because we wanted to because the first row is considered as a 0. In second row, if you want two column, then the x is 0, y is equal to 1 because obviously y is incremented by 1. And in second column, x is equal to 1 because x is incremented by 1 and y equal to 1. In third row, if we wanted to have three column, then x is equal to 0 y is equal to 2 because 0, 1 and 2, second row. Then x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, x is equal to 2 and y equal to 2, right? Similar way, in the fourth row, x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3. x is always started with 0 and incremented by 1 in the x direction. y is always started with 0 and incremented by 1 in the y direction right so this is a simple math that we are going to use in order to achieve this requirement with respect to that we also need to consider width parameter as well so now let me show you how we can create this type of structure in power apps so this is the out of the box form that we have added 
Now let's try to make that form in our business requirement. Now let's try to make that form as per our business requirement. The very first step that we want to achieve here is let's just make our entire form with one column that will make our task easier and then turn off this snap to column option so let's turn it off right now the first row is something i want that as entire title that is fine now in the second row what i want to have is department and manager i want both of this row side by side then what would be the scenario i need to do first of all i need to decrease the width of this particular card so i selected this entire data card go to the advanced property go to the width property and i just want to divide that into two parts so i just use form one dot width divided by two right let's copy this formula similar way as well i just also want to decrease the width so let's just decrease the width form width divided by two now i just wanted to arrange this particular data card over here to this location then how can i do that we are in the second row right so x is 0 y is 1 right and over here i want to make it over here so for that x should be 1 and y should be 1 right so let's just change this property select this data card x should be 1 y is also should be 1 right so this is how it has arranged perfectly now in the third row i need start date end date and number of days all of these three in a single row so first of all let's arrange the width so i will just use the formula so i will just use the formula form width divided by three form width divided by 3 now let's set x and y position for start date end date and number of days so this is the third row so y should be 2 so let's just arrange that x is equal to 0 y is equal to 2 now for end date x is equal to 1 y equal to 2 right so it moved here and similar way for here x is equal to 2 y is equal to 2 right so you can see that in the third row we have three columns right now here i need leave status and leave type two columns then what i need to do here is first of all arrange the width so form width divided by 2 i want to divide it into two equal part so let's copy that and let's just set the width for leave type as well so let's just set the width now let's position that so here this is the fourth row so row number minus one is equal to your y axis so over here it would be three right x is equal to zero y is equal to three over here x is incremented by one so one and y equal to three right so it has arranged perfectly here right so basically we are following the same chart that we are able to see over here right then in select type is something which is i wanted to have as a entire row so that is absolutely fine but let's arrange that as well because we are in the fifth row at this moment so y should be four it is sixth row so y should be 5 and similar way this is the seventh row so y should be 6 y axis is equal to row number minus 1 just remember that this is one of the tip right and this is how we have arranged our form perfectly right so this is very simple very easy and very straightforward so steps are very simple the very first step that you need to do is you need to convert your form with a single column 
then you need to turn off the snap to column and after that you need to use the simple x and y logic to arrange the field in the form right so this is very easy and very straightforward hope this tip is helpful to you if you have any question you can add your question in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay connected with me on facebook linkedin twitter whatsapp and instagram on this ribbon you will find every link of my social media handles i am uploading new video related power bi power apps power automate power virtual agents teams and sharepoint so make sure that you subscribe and never miss any updates from my channel also if you are interested for any consultancy here is the website click on that link it will redirecting you to my website home page from there click on this contact icon from where you can contact me easily also if you are looking for any social media handle information about me here is a link tree url where you will find all my social media handle links of my website instagram linkedin blog twitter github everything so just follow me over here and you will find every link if you are looking for any twitter update from me twitter icon is here if you are interested for instagram learning here is the instagram account click on that you will be redirecting to my instagram page where you can find different post reels instagram igtv everything so keep learning on instagram as well if you are interested for different power platform podcast here is the podcast link click on that it will be redirecting you to my podcast home page over here you can listen your favorite power platform podcast on your favorite podcast platform like google podcast apple podcast spotify and much more this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session have a great day goodbye